This is a very short little take. What I think uh, is behind the word naysayers. When Arnold Schwarzenegger in one or more of his motivational videos says, don't listen to the naysayers who say it's impossible, your dreams, your goals, whatever you want to call it. Well, it strikes me they're talking from personal experience and sometimes even if they recognize you could do what they can't and it bugs them so much that they want to do everything uh, to uh, prevent you from going even further and from who knows what becoming even a talk show host or national figure or uh, popularly recognized book author or speaker who knows what and even they're possibly knowing they could benefit from you in the long term uh, greatly but wanting to cut off their nose to spite you so that you don't accomplish yet more that they can't this might be called just envy couldn't it be yeah, I call it uh, being more abundant not being able to handle what some are already doing uh, when they're not so more abundant stuck in other words and even more in the future perhaps and what makes a person, if not out of envy, say it's impossible for all people, including you or me, certain people who definitely are walking the talk much more and have much more talent in certain ways and certain freedoms. What freedoms in particular are we talking about? In my mind, freedoms from certain addictions that typically are not called addictions because they're not associated with alcohol use to an excessive degree, heroin, meth, fentanyl, cocaine, etc. And so what's holding them back so much are addictions that Anne Schaaf, Dr. Anne Schaaf, who wrote When Society Becomes an Addict, she calls these process addictions, like uh, the addiction to control or the addiction to, um, well, I would call it distractions galore. Um, and maybe the addiction to even, in my book, conforming. Uh, lest we have to possibly get ejected from our group or certain friends and uh, have to face the pain of being alone with our thoughts, as the philosopher Camus had talked of. But they can't wrap their heads all too often around their being strong addicts in the sense of using very immature defense mechanisms and chronically, i.e., a pattern use of it and so their claim is they can't quite understand why they can't do this or that maybe even starting a business becoming an entrepreneur uh, and growth in general because their level of efficiency in producing anything and growing is very very low but they don't understand why because so many people have the same addictions they do of a non-chemical based nature uh, basically in my view and uh, so their advice that nobody can pull off what you're trying to do uh, being fallacious basically because not everyone's an addict to the same degree they are of a non-chemical based nature uh, they're not privy often even to being around people who have far fewer of these non-chemical based addictions or what Anne Schaaf once again called process addictions and those people in turn wouldn't want to hang around people all so much who drag them down. Hence the phrase so often, you are the uh, five people you spend the most time with. Why would someone thus who has few process addictions want to be around people who have a lot of them, let alone any chemical-based addicted people in general? That's a uh, real catch-22 for people who want to grow in general. That then is my thinking on the so-called naysayer um, business here that Arnold Schwarzenegger is urging us not to uh, get caught up in. The claim, once again, to recap, being that nobody can pull off what you're trying uh, when they don't recognize what's holding them back because, in turn, they don't recognize the defense mechanisms that are very immature, very counterproductive, uh, yet often commonplace, especially in our country today or some other industrialized countries. Uh, and sometimes they're even vetted or given medals for. So that's holding them back more than anything, and they generalize that 
these addictions are held by everyone when in fact that's simply not the case and their claim then that you can't do what they're not doing in their group is fallacious once again incorrect